Mankind can draw all the lines it wants, but there's really one ocean. It's both a chilly expanse and a warm pool. For miles deep to just above your ankles, and reaching it can require a 20-hour flight or a walk down to the dock. Who better to show us all sides of the sea than fishermen? After all, anglers are explorers. We travel the world. We fish the earth. This season, SFTV traveled the Atlantic, the Gulf, the Pacific, and the Indian, catching 29 species along the way. Each destination has its own peak season, that perfect blend of wind, weather, and water that creates optimal fishing. But the opposite is true as well. The ocean absorbs heat from the sun and transfers it around the globe in its currents, upending atmospheric conditions as they go. The seas become too rough. The wind kills sight fishing. The water temperature is too hot or too cold for the target species. Weather, the great equalizer, the unpredictable force that can make or break a peak season moment. While Kona, Hawaii is a year-round billfish destination, the bite is rarely on fire in January. Storms only complicate the matter. But when the clouds part and a window of opportunity opens, Jump through it like a fiery hoop and pray you don't get burned. Come on. Still there, still there. Make it live. Yeah, 
winter turns to spring turns to summer. Pack the truck and head south on the overseas highway. The Florida Keys are waiting. Summer in the Florida Keys. It's the first half of hurricane season. You never know when a storm will move in. At 20 knots, a fly is little more than a kite. But set Jared and Brandon Sear loose in the Keys backcountry, and they'll get it done. All right, what you got for me, Captain? There was one at like 11 a second ago. There he is, hit him. Such a cool eat. Oh, that's what we're <laughs> like, buddy. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Uh, yeah, man. I love my job. <laughs> This is always what amazes me about tarpon, is this last five, 10 minutes, man. Every time you think they're done, they somehow conjure up a little bit more energy. All right, I'm coming to you. There you go. All right, what an awesome fish, dude. Late season tarpon, sunrise on the 10 weight, yeah. that's awesome. May to November is prime swordfish season in Florida, which makes August the center of the bullseye. The Gulf Stream is like a pelagic conveyor belt. Captain Sam Milazzo has 15 years of sword fights under his belt. Three days in his home waters of Isla Mirada is all that's needed. He's loaded. The it's loaded, loaded right there. He's it's loaded, loaded right there. Try it. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, he's, he's up. On. He's up on the drag. That's a big one, dude. He's up. He's up. Let's go real easy. Loose drag. It's scoping hard. Yeah, man. he's coming up. He's flying. He's up. really. I mean, look at the line, dude. Yeah. Definitely a hundred, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got him. There you go. Nice shot. Oh! Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's over 100 pounds. That's what we needed. As summer becomes fall, the SFTV crew travels across the American South from the Gulf of Mexico to the South Carolina Low Country.
With the summer sun setting on the Florida Keys, we're off to Gulfport, Mississippi. It's late August. Hurricane Dorian interrupts our week-long mothership trip to Louisiana's Chandelier Islands, cutting it short by a few days. But there's still enough time to fish this remote island chain in the Gulf. Big trout! <laughs> All right, coming over to the side. Pretty fish, man. I went red fishing and all I came home with was a stinking old 20 inch trout. She go. There he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hooked up again. Drop him down. Got it. Woo! Oh, yeah. Job. Oh, yeah. Nice well, that's fun, isn't it? A lot of fun. In Charleston, South Carolina, even the water abides by Southern hospitality. It has a generous year-round redfish population with the added bonus of triple tail and speckled trout. Hurricane season is about over, but cold fronts are always a concern. During this week in early October, the earth, moon, and stars align, and the low country bite is on. I love this anticipation, especially when you know they're here. Be chaos at any moment. Nicely done. Good fish. Been eating good. That's a bigger fish than he looked like. Give me some good dinner tonight, brother. The end of year chill settles over the states, and a passport is the perfect antidote. It's off to Panama and the Seychelles to finish the season. November in Piñas Bay, Panama, Thanksgiving in the Darien jungle. While other parts of the world are closing shop and dry docking boats, Tropic Star Lodge is open for business, especially for big billfish on Zane Gray Reef. If you've never seen a 600-pound black marlin fly, you're in luck.
Fishing season at Alphonse Island in the Seychelles is October to May. We arrive in mid-February and storms rain over the atolls. Like a mountain peak, weather atop a submerged volcano is at best unpredictable. There have been anglers at Alphonse Island who've caught more than 60 different species on fly in one week. We're less picky. How about two species, bonefish and giant trevally? We are right in the middle of the Indian Ocean on a volcanic mountain peak on a magnificent white sand flat. Uh, the weather's not great today, but we're trying to make the best of it. And there's a ton of bonefish around. We're just trying to find them. One would obviously try and find a place where the feeding is really good. On a day like today with a lot of wind and wave action, hard to cast in the wind and very hard to see the fish with low light. It's stirring up the flat, so it's creating a lot of feeding potential for the fish. So it's actually a good day to fish, even though the conditions are pretty tough. Look at that lovely zebra stripe on the back. The classic, the banana. Okay, I'm gonna do a slow release. There he goes. Nice. Go, 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 go! Yeah, closer was losing this rod and reel and everything, bro. Yeah, I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> Anglers can fish a destination during its peak season, but nothing is guaranteed. You can get skunked under bluebird skies or succeed in a 20 knot wind. Having all the pieces in place means very little. It's like playing chess on a tilt-a-whirl. All you can do is take what the day or the year gives you. <laughs> 